The purpose of this series of videos is to go ahead and document what I'm doing to my Dance Dance Revolution Korean White Cap. Where did I get it from? I got it from South Korea, No On Naughty Zone, from an arcade that was closing down. It was too good of an offer to pass up that I had to take it. Uh, it, took, it took a little bit of muscle and grease to get it from Seoul to where I'm at right now, but hey, it, it, it worked. Uh, I've been a Dance Dance Revolution player for 20-something, maybe a little over 20-something years. I started on Max 2 in Harlingen, Texas, deep down South Texas, not San Antonio. So if Joey Platt is watching this, you're not really South Texas, dude. You're more like mid Midwest at that point. Um, but yeah, no, I played DDR in Texas, I played DDR in Louisiana, I played in Japan, I played in South Korea, so I have a lot of experience with, with the game. I, I'm still, I think I'm still pretty trash at it, because I don't have any natural skill at anything aside from just really working hard. Um, but, like I said, the series, the purpose of this this series of videos is going to show you what you need to do to your cap. Because there, there is information out there, but it's not documented very well. You have to ask questions. If there's like a holy bible that contains every single thing of what you need to know for a cab, that'd be great. Throw it my way, and I can maybe throw it into this series of videos. But this is going to be very unprofessional. I am not qualified to do any of these things. I'm just going off of natural experience that I've learned and hey, if I F up, I F up. I'm only human I'm, and I'm gonna make mistakes and this is not gonna be perfect at all whatsoever, but I am gonna try and make the most of it. Um, I'll go over things, putting the lock on the cab, what kind of screws need to be used, uh, maybe even up to the point of how to boot the game. Maybe, but I'm not gonna show you where to get that data from. Just what you need to do to maybe create an unofficial EMU's server. I think I can cover that. I'm not too sure. Whatever. But hey, hopefully someone might find this useful, because maybe you'll be in the same spot where I'm at. But this cab was not taken good care of at all. The pads were hyper reset, so if you played with barely moving your feet off the pad, they would um, hit the frame and you'd end up tripping or something like that. It was extremely rusty, a lot of script screws, and so yeah, hopefully somebody will find this useful.